Hello again, my YouTube fans. It's only a day after um, from the last video I made about the Magic Cycle. And what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that I mentioned the, the weights that I used to balance the rear wheel, the drive wheel of the Magic Cycle. So today, I'm going to make another weight for a couple of reasons. One, if you, if you watch the whole video, I do actually spin the wheel and show you that there is it is a lot better since I put those weights on it, and um, but there is still a slight, you know, unbalancing. It is a lot better than it was before I put it on there, but it's still off. So what I have on there, these are these are just one eighth ounce fishing weights in the cone shape that I mentioned uh, I'll, I'll show them to you closer in a minute um, and the fact is I have this is uh, heat shrinkable tubing of course there's a lighter here to heat shrink it um, the fact is I have one weight that I made more recently using four of these weights and the other one that's on there was the first one that I made using two so being it's slightly off I thought well maybe if I make another one with four and add it to the other four and take the two off uh, it would be a better balance in addition I want to mount it better it's a little bit slapped on there with duct tape it's a you know a little sloppy I was I was experimenting with the weights so today I'm also going to um, do a little bit better job on mounting all of the weights and uh, what I'll do is if, if I have you know I'm trying to make this video shorter than yesterday's um, I'll be using pause which f for you it would be a split second or less uh, and uh, for me of course I could take as much time as I need to do what I want to do you know, mounting it and stuff like that so I want to do a neater job of it to make it more permanent I'll be cleaning the inside of the wheel with a little alcohol maybe to make sure that the duct tape sticks and for those of you who are wondering, hey, isn't that wheel, you know, flying around like that, isn't it going to throw the weights off? Well, for one thing, the centrifugal force of the wheel will keep the weight pressed up against the inside of the wheel. Okay? The other thing is, it is, this is a heat shrinkable tubing. It's a, a, a relatively high quality heat shrinkable tubing. It's not the dollar store stuff. Um, it is very rubbery. So if these weights were to fly out, the chances of it causing any, you know, real damage or any harm is uh, um, minimal at best. Um, so, but I don't think it's going to happen. The other thing is, is that I may, you know, one, once I get the right balance. Um, and, and, if, and if I get it to be uh, almost perfect, um, I intend to use a little bit of glue. Nothing, no super glue or anything because like for example, super glue uh, is, is highly caustic and uh, it'll eat away at the paint on the, on the rim and everything else. So nothing big deal, like a little bit of uh, uh, craft glue will leave in just to make sure it stays in place with the duct tape over it, you know just to make it more permanent and when I do put the duct tape on it um, it'll be and I'll show that to you as well it'll be um, much more you know flattened and, and neat and you won't be able to see it I think the rim is actually brown but the black duct tape uh, blends right in um, it, 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 you can't even see it unless you really examine it so here we go um, I'm going to go ahead and show you and then I'm going to pause the video so that to make the video shorter I'm going to go ahead and show you first what I do is I put one in and I put another one in can you see what I'm doing here okay push it and then I put another one in point to point push it and then another one in flat to, to flat so they're cone shaped right now I'm going to need something to push that all the way in, maybe the top of the scissors. Okay, and I try to give it a little space. And there's a 
if you can see this there is the top of the weight or the you know the end of the weight there and that leaves that much if I can hold it so it leaves let me put it on the white background that's why I have this white background here okay so you can see there is about I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can see it you see there's a there's a little flap there about that much there it is okay for the end to shrink around the top of the the, the, the weight so I'm going to go approximately the same on the other side give or take it doesn't have to be perfect you could always move them and just snip it okay so now I have this much uh, heat shrinkable tubing left out of that one and we have our our weight okay and yeah right there we go so when I heat shrink this you're gonna see this center collapse okay let's make sure they're butted up against each other and um, I'm gonna pause the video for a moment because I'm going to get a wet paper towel because once I heat up one side it's gonna be very hot can't handle it you could burn yourself so I usually after after it's shrunk I usually sort of cool it off and then I hold it from the other side and shrink the other side okay so I'm gonna pause the video okay now that was only a split second for you okay so it's just a dampened paper towel no big deal all right so some of you may be wondering and you may actually know that balancing weights even for bikes are available uh, some 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 people use golf club weights which are like tape but they're weights um, those I couldn't find them um, I know that um, Harbor Freight Tools actually has uh, other bike and other motorcycle uh, balancing weights that are a little bit bulkier that are basically the same thing you tape them on to the inside of the rim um, Harbor Freight Tools is a number of miles away from me and I haven't gotten used to this bike well enough to drive that far on this bike on um, main road uh, uh, you know to, to actually get them so uh, before I even got this bike I went to Walmart and I went into the you know I tried to find bike weight I tried to find wheel balancing weights in their bike section but they didn't have any but they had these uh, the fishing you know the sporting section had these uh, uh, fishing weights and um, these are only one eighth ounce each so right now there is six eighths or three quarters of an ounce on that wheel with this I'm going to add it, you know, I'm going to take the two off and put the four on. So it's going to be eight, eight, which is going to be a full ounce of weight, plus whatever minuscule weight this, this you know, uh, heat shrinkable tubing is. That's, you know, plus the duct tape, you know. So it's basically, I'm adding an ounce of weight to the to the wheel instead of, instead of uh, less than that. And we're going to experiment. And again, I'm going to be pausing the video. You don't have to watch me put it on uh, and stuff like that. Or you don't have to watch me, you know, move the camera and everything else. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and heat shrink this one side so that you can see what I'm doing. And uh, without setting off any fire alarms here, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And you can see the, the center where the, where the. Okay, let's straighten that out. All right, so that's one side. And I'm going to wait a few seconds, check to see it's completely shrunk. It'll it'll never shrink down to, to to you know flat, but that's that's fine because I need a little flat surface you know when I squeeze it to uh, to put the tape on anyway. Okay, so we're gonna cool it off, wipe it off any carbon from the flame, if any. Okay. All right, and it's okay, and then we're gonna do the other side. Okay. And 
much to do the trick. I want to bend this a little bit while it's still hot so I can straighten it out. Okay. I'm going to cool that off. So the weights will never come out of the of this of the tubing. If the weight comes off the bike altogether, it's it's all wrapped in uh, a rubber jacket. So if this were to fly out at somebody, you know, or something like that, or um, it is it is uh, you know half an ounce. So um, it'll be a half an ounce weight wrapped in rubber, and uh, you know. Potentially it could hurt, but uh, I'm sure I'm I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it won't cause any uh, um, life-threatening injuries. But uh, again, I'm going to be mounting it more permanent than I have it now, and um, um, I'm I'm pretty sure. So far, so far the waist that I have on there now I've had on since 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 day one uh, with the duct tape and. It hasn't. It hasn't. Uh, they haven't come off, and they're not even. They're not even what I consider permanently mounted. They're just basically duct tape on there, sloppily. So I wouldn't worry about it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'm going to put the camera um, on the on the bike. Um, I'm going to give my uh, recording uh, uh, about a minute to record the the whole bike, so that I can get a, a, a so that I can get a. Um, an icon, a uh, what do they call that? A thumbnail <laughs> uh, with the bike in it. So hopefully YouTube will give me that thumbnail, and uh, I'll make that my thumbnail for the video. And then I'll then I'll move the camera to the back wheel where I'm working on it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again. Okay. So while that's um, pointing at the bike and uh, giving me the the uh, thumbnail. So you can see where the reflector is on the on the top sort of left of the uh, back wheel. If you go straight down, or I should say directly opposite of that reflector, you may or may not be able to see it on this. I'm not sure, but if you look closely, you'll see where I have the the stem where the stem is on both sides of the stem. There is duct tape uh, weights on there, and that's where I intend to uh, mount the, the the new weight. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a minute. Um, I'm going to walk over away from the microphone and point it out. I don't know if you can hear me from here, but I'm pointing this out, and I can't really see if you can see what I'm doing here. But here, the, the tire, look, I mean, the wheel looks black. It, it, they say that it might be brown, but I think it's black. But in any case, uh, the duct tape is a bit shiny in comparison to the wheel. So this is the one I'm going to be removing. This is the one that has four weights in it. I'm going to be removing this one and replacing it with the four weight. And then we're going to. Uh, I, I was just telling you that I was going to remove the one with two weights in it. And then after I put the, the one with the four weights on it, I'm going to um, give it a test like I did yesterday on my first video, my first and only Magic Cycle video. Um, uh, and and see if there's any slight because it was a slight shake if, if you watched my whole video you'll see that I did that and there was a slight shake um, we'll see if the shake has completely disappeared if it has then I did a good job um, so without pausing the video I'm going to try and uh, let YouTube give me this uh, thumbnail with my bike and then I'll move the camera again maybe no, actually, I think I think I'll just uh, sort of let this record, and um, when I pause it, I'll I'll go ahead and do the job of putting it on. You don't have to actually. I don't unless you really want to see this. Uh, you don't actually have to see how I, you know, uh, take the tape and uh, you know uh, cut the tape and carefully tape it on and all that stuff. You don't have to see me clean the rim, you know. Um, I, I don't have the editing capabilities that some of these great YouTubers have. They they fast forward and and, and, and you can see them you know speed speed uh, cleaning the wheel and putting the tape on and all that. You don't have to see that, but I suppose my video might get better 
uh, views if I did that, but uh, I just don't have the time to do that right now. So I wanted to get this video up, and I wanted to get it to you know uh, start off my new playlist and that sort of thing. So I'm trying to uh, shoot the bull with you while I'm getting YouTube to give me this uh, thumbnail of my bike. So I think I will now pause it. Oh, before I do that, I apologize for the format in which these videos are coming to you now. Um, recently, my first video coming back onto the, you know, doing, doing videos, I had said that I'm having trouble all of a sudden with the uh, OBS, OBS software. Uh, suddenly it decided that my camera didn't exist anymore and I had to go through the whole process of getting it to record in, in 720 uh, you know, uh, HD. Um, I managed to get it to do that on these last two videos, but I still haven't figured out what I did right the last time to stretch the video to the size, you know, for, for uh, um, you know, widescreen. So I apologize for that, but uh, you know, one day I'll get a new computer and, and that'll all disappear. But right now, I, I just, it's just, uh, I spent hours trying to figure out what setting that I used to, to get it to do that, and it doesn't seem to be cooperating. I think maybe there was an update on the OBS software that caused the, the setting to be wiped out, and then uh, maybe it's just not the same anymore. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it now. I think that's enough time for YouTube to give me my thumbnail of the Magicycle sitting there. I'll be coming back with the mounting and testing of the weight. Of the balancing, I should say. I decided to go ahead and show you what I'm doing anyway. Hopefully, I'm not, I can't see what the computer looks like, but I'm sure you can see me. I put the microphone down on the floor here. So, I, I don't know if you can actually see this, um, but uh, I'm putting the weight much more neatly centered, and I'm using a small piece of duct tape just to locate it, in other words, just to make it where I want it to be. I cleaned it with alcohol, by the way, so I'm trying to not hit the spoke, although I just got it on there anyway. All right, so I'm trying to make it really centered this time. Let's let's get it away from the stem a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be completely opposite of the of the reflector. Okay, let's let's do that. So that's okay. So that is much more centered than the, than the, the, the this sloppy job here. So, I think before I actually put any more tape on it, we're going to go ahead and give it the spin test, just the way it is. And then, uh, if it works out right, I'll do this a better permanent job, and then I'll also make this neater. So, let's go ahead and turn on the um, bike, and I'm going to see if I, I'm going to try and look at the camera and see if I'm in the way. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll uh, turn it on. Now it's not going to be the front view like it was yesterday, but okay. Here we go. Let me see. Am I in the screen? Look at my wonderful legs. Let's make sure we got that off the floor so we don't uh, end up having the bike crash inside the house. No, actually, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of a heavier wobble. So maybe that's actually too much. Hmm. Okay. For safety reasons, I'll turn the computer back off so that the bike doesn't take off by some random thing. All right. So maybe, um, first of all, let's get that wheel to to be where I can actually work on it. There we go. I know I moved the bike a bit. So, the question is, 
why is it like that? Let's try moving it one way or the other and see if that makes a difference. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't make it permanent because you never know. Maybe maybe the the the, the two weights was enough. All right, so I'm going to move it away from the stem and bringing it closer to this side. And uh, let's just make sure that we don't have it flying around in the house. Okay, so now there's a distance between the stem and the weight. If it makes it worse, we know what we have to do. We have to bring it closer to the other one. If it makes it better, then we made it better. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Turn it back on. Okay. Let me see if I can tilt. Okay, let's do it that way. All right, here we go. Make sure everything's good. My foot's not underneath the wheel. This speed, it seems like there's a, a bit of a bounce. I think that's only slightly better than it was before. All right. So maybe that's too heavy. I wonder what would happen if I removed the other weight. And we'll put that one back on meter. And maybe we'll go back down to th two weights instead of instead of four. Okay, so I took this one off. As you can see, it's the same thing, but it's, the duct tape is kind of sloppy, and it wasn't really on there very well. Sorry. There we go. And so, so if we put that one back on, we'll be a lot more neat about it. Let's pull this duct tape off here. Okay. And I think um, I'm already making this longer than I should have. But let's go ahead and test it without the other weight on it. Here we go. hard to tell. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'm going to do a little experimenting because this is going to take a little longer than I expected. Uh, let me just pick up my microphone. So I'm going to pause the video and um, do a little experimenting because this is taking a little longer than I expected. And then I'll get back and uh, we'll see how good we did. Okay, that took a little doing. But let me tell you, I put all three, that is the two four uh, uh, unit weights and the one two unit weight, which is uh, one and a quarter ounces. And I also moved it away from, I'm sorry, I also moved it away from the stem and it is nearly perfect. Uh, before I move the camera to show you exactly where they are, um, I'm going to show you the spin test and let me tell you, it wasn't just under high speed, it was also as it was slowing down, there was a wobble. Now it is almost, not perfect, but almost completely gone. Ready? Here we go. It's also showing me 28.5 uh, 28 miles an hour, and the battery's down to 74% by the way. And as it slows down, there is, you can't see it on camera, there is a slight, almost impossible to detect shape, but it, it, it is almost perfect. And to show that I, I got even more speed out of it, 
because it doesn't have to fight the wobble. I did notice that uh, as the wheel is spinning, you probably see it on camera, the, the, the reflector around it is not perfectly you know, perfectly circular. And I, and I think that's the way the tire is mounted. There's a slight you know, difference between one side or the other. That's probably what's causing the imbalance. But there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the way it is. So, and I've seen, I've seen videos before. So let me go ahead and uh, bring the camera down. And I have to, I don't know if this wire is long enough because I didn't put the extra cable on it. Let me see. Okay. Let me, uh. Okay. So let me just look at the computer and see how good that looks on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna, um. I'm not going to bother putting a different cable on. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the bike closer. That's perfect. Look at that. I did that without looking at the screen. Almost perfectly centered. Okay. So, just to get the... Okay, so there's a one ounce weight here, a one ounce weight here, and the original two uh, uh, half ounce weight is here, a quarter ounce weight is here. I'm sorry, the half ounce, a half ounce, quarter ounce, and they are now. Where's the stem? Here's the stem. See, before they were they were on both sides of the stem, and when I when I was experimenting with the, with the video on pause. Let me just bring this microphone down so you can hear me better. Okay, so when I was experimenting the whole time, it took me quite some time. I didn't actually time it, but it was something like a half an hour of experimenting. I didn't want you to be bored with the video. So I determined that it was this side of the stem, not this side that I was getting better results. Now this is barely stuck on with tape and they didn't fly off. Uh, the tape has been unstuck and stuck so many times that it's barely holding on just to show that the safety of it, you know, with the centrifugal force holding them on, it's not going to go anywhere. However, I am going to go ahead and refresh the tape that's on them and, and, and do a better job at mounting them. But as you can see, I think you can see, I'm not sure how well you can see this. I'm, I'm you know, here's one way Here's the smaller weight, and here's the other weight, and um, they are somewhat in the center of the of the uh, uh, rim, and uh, the results are good. The results are very good, and uh, that should that should actually um, increase battery life because it doesn't have to fight against the imbalance and stuff like that. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to pick up the microphone, give you a quick look at my sexy legs and uh, bring the microphone over back to the computer here so I can continue to talk to you while I stop the video alrighty then let me just I think I'll just put it behind me thank you for watching please subscribe and uh, I hope these upcoming videos are helpful you know yesterday I didn't mention one thing the motor is a 750 watt nominal motor a lot of companies are saying, yeah, our motor is 750 watts, but in reality, they're 750 watts max. The maximum output of this one, uh, according to the digital display, is something like 900 watts. It could be more. I think the display might just stop at 900. I'm not sure. But, uh, um, you know, in fact, um, I can show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the microphone here. I'm going to just turn it. You know, I know I said I was going to pause. I didn't know I said I was going to end the video, but I just realized... I didn't show you this. Okay. Whether or not you're going to be able to see it, but on this display, there is a wattage, a battery, there's a wattage a level, and a speedometer, and everything. So, uh, yes. Yes, the. Uh, you know, you know, while you're riding, if you if you care to look. Uh, that hello 
uh, my, my, I got a you know bed head here. <laughs> uh, if you care to look, you can see that the that the wattage and everything is, is available for your for your uh, um, um, discernation. <laughs> okay, uh, you're looking at the side of my head right now. We're getting ready to click stop recording. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the like button. Come on, don't you like my videos? Thank you.